Hi friends and welcome to another virtual story time. So today we're going to be reading in honor of Earth Day, which is April 22nd. So we're going to read two books, about one about seeds and another about loving our planet. That's what Earth Day is all about. All right, are you guys ready for our song? All right, if you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, clap your hands. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you want to read a book, sit and go shh. If you want to read a book, sit and go shh. If you want to read a book, sit down and take a look. If you want to read a book, sit and go shh. All right, so our first book today is called Seeds by Carme Lemiscades. So seeds. Seeds carry the power of life. So they embark on amazing adventures. What color is that flower? Oh, it's beautiful yellow and orange. Some take off to distant lands. What color are these flowers? Pink and white. Others wait to be carried to their destiny. Oh, look at all the tunnels. Once they find their place, seeds go through breathtaking transformations. Seeds have the power to multiply in number. One pumpkin seed brings dozens of pumpkins. And each pumpkin brings hundreds of seeds. Seeds have the power to multiply in size. The tiniest seed in the world sprouts a beautiful orchid. What color is that orchid? It's pink. Seeds have the power to grow in difficult places. They can thrive despite all odds. When we sow a seed, we take part in this amazing cycle. And we can plant many different kinds of seeds. A smile is a powerful seed. One that can bring joy and friendship. But there are also seeds that bring anger and misunderstanding. When those seeds grow, they pull us apart. They're fighting. Seeds can only bring what they carry. Pumpkin seeds bring pumpkins and kindness seeds bring kindness. You have lots of seeds, and you get to decide which ones to plant and which ones to help grow. Seeds have whole worlds inside of them, just like you. The end. That was a good book about being kind to our friends. All right, 
Our next book is called Greta and the Giants by Zoe Tucker. There was once a girl who lived at the heart of a beautiful forest, and her name was Greta. There she is. What animals are these? What animal is that? Is that a fox? What kind is that? It's an owl. One morning, things weren't quite as they should be. Greta stepped out into her yard and there, huddled together in the shadows of the trees, were all the animals of the forest. A soft, silvery brown wolf stepped forward with his tail low to the ground. Please help us, he whispered. The forest is broken and we don't know where to go. The giants are ruining our home. The giants have always been there for as long as Greta could remember, but now they were worse than ever. They were huge lumbering oafs and they were always busy. They chopped down trees to build homes and they chopped down more trees to build bigger homes. The houses grew into towns, and the towns grew into cities. They built factories and shops and cars and planes. They worked all day and all night until eventually... There was hardly any forest left. But the greedy giants had forgotten how wonderful the forest was. They didn't see all the little birds and bugs and butterflies and bears that trembled in the shadows. And no one told them to stop because everyone was scared of them. The big city. Everyone except Greta. Will you help us? asked the wolf. Greta looked around her. The animals looked tired and sad. She had to help them, but how? Hmm, I wonder how she could help them. And then Greta had an idea. I wonder what it was. The next morning, Greta went to the middle of the forest and waited for the giants to come. She stood alone, holding a big sign. The sign said, stop. And she waited and waited. On the first day, the giants didn't see her and lumbered on by. But on the fourth day, something strange happened. A little boy who had been watching Greta made a sign and came and sat down next to her. He didn't say much, but Greta knew he felt like she did. His sign says, listen. Soon, more people and animals saw what they were doing and joined too. Look at all those signs now. Before long, a huge crowd filled the forest, stretching out to the city and the roads beyond. They stood together and waited. The crowd was so huge. What's happening with the giants? That the giants were stopped in their tracks. Please stop, cried Greta. Your greedy behavior is spoiling our home. You've broken the trees and trampled the flowers. 
and now the bees and birds have flown away. These animals are homeless and our forest is dying. After Greta had spoken, everything was silent. But then everyone in the crowd began to shout. The smoke from your fires is choking the air. And please stop cutting down the trees. You can help plant some new ones and mend my home. We need to take care of our forest and live together. Will you please try? They all said. The giants shuffled and fidgeted and stomped their feet on the ground. They were embarrassed and a little bit sad. You see, the giants were so busy building, they didn't see what they were doing to the forest or the animals who lived there. And the giants felt terrible. We're so sorry, they said, and they promised to try harder. So from that day on, the greedy giants weren't so greedy. They slowed down and learned to sit quietly. They stopped working all the time and instead took up new hobbies. They're knitting in that picture. They stopped chopping down trees and learned all about gardening and living in the forest. They cooked, repaired, tidied, and shared. And before long, what do you think happened? The forest became more beautiful than they could have ever imagined. The end. So that was such a good book, I think. So, because it's Earth Day, and Earth Day is all about being thankful for our planet and being thankful for everything it has given us. So because it's a little rainy today and a little cold, instead of going outside to draw, I looked through my window and I drew what I saw. It's spring, so there's a tree that's budding. It's gonna have leaves soon. There were some flowers in my garden. What color are those flowers? They're yellow, and I live in the woods, so I drew some pine trees. And also, what is that friend right there? I have a cat who lives outside sometimes, and she was out there, so I drew her too. So if you guys want, you can look out your window and draw what you guys see, or just draw something that's special to you. That would be fine too. And if you want to go take a walk and do a small scavenger hunt, I'll post that in the comments as well. Well, have a good day, guys, and we'll see you soon.